everybody. How's everyone doing? Today, we are going to be doing a full film review of Avengers Endgame. Uh, it is Johnny, Apex, and I. And what we up? are going to provide a bit of both sides. So you could say the best of both worlds in relation to the film in critique, uh, bashing, and continuity errors, and overall just cuckery. So uh, without further ado, uh, Johnny, go ahead and take a point. All right, so Avengers Endgame came out. Uh, we're a little late getting to the review, but um, first section of the review is going to have no spoilers. We'll save that for the second half of it for you guys. Um, so, yeah, we'll get into a lot of stuff, but overall, after you leave the theater or stop watching the movie, I think people leave with a very good feeling, you know? very People feel very happy and very wholesome, very appreciative of what Marvel and Disney and Marvel Studios has supplied them enough of so many movies and hours of, of just great comic book and action and some comedy, you know? You just leave with a really good feeling after Endgame. But I have never seen a movie that wastes so much goddamn time before in my life. It is a it is a long movie, and sometimes it really feels like it. I think this movie had way too many scenes that wasted time. I think that it was, like, awesome to see so many heroes on screen at once, but I think they just, like, clashed at the same time because it's like, I just, you know, it feels like they just brushed over so many major important characters, you know, which which sucks. Um, I feel like some of them got squashed, kind of thing like that. Um, I think, yeah, I wasn't too impressed. I wasn't impressed by uh, Captain Marvel in that movie after seeing Captain America or Captain Marvel: The uh, Origin Story, which was uh, fine. Yeah, which we did review. You guys can check out down below in the description. I'll have the link there for you. Um, but yeah, like if you leave the theater, like the the last hour and a half, I'd say is very good. It's very good. Action packed. It, it definitely in the last hour, hour, hour to an hour and a half. We're gonna say for sure an hour. The ball really starts rolling and it doesn't slow down. It goes from just action, action, action to just why the fuck am I crying so much? Oh my god, I realized I paid for my ticket and just emotions. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh there's a lot of crying in this movie, and that's where we'll get into later in the spoily territory. Uh, why you cry so much, and why they want to waste all that time so much, and yeah, so you leave with uh I think you leave satisfied if you are a big Marvel fan. This movie, I I would like to think they did it a lot for fanfare, which was very cool to see at moments. It but definitely couldn't have stood alone. This film did not pay any appreciation to non Marvel films, not non Marvel fans. If, if someone didn't watch even just Infinity War or, frankly, any of the other Marvel movies, they'd just be fucking scratching their head the whole time, like, who the fuck's this raccoon? Like, it, it really didn't explain much of anything because they assumed, well, you know, you've had 11 years to catch on to, like, all this universe we've created and the uh, characters in it as well as the whole, you could say, endgame, the goal. Hey. <laughs> um, Puns. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, god damn it, what was I gonna say, Sly? Um, but, yeah, I mean, I uh, feel like a lot of the characters were done well, you know, if you watch all the movies before, um, this, you can kind of get a, like, a handle of what's going on and what they do, and I did, I, I liked Infinity War a ton better more than this film, like, a lot, lot better, I thought that one was done tremendously better but uh i thought the acting was very meh and this like a lot of character like that's the thing like i feel like them brushing over so many characters like i feel like they didn't really get to i feel like some of the writing was like just not done as well like some people would acted very well some people acted meh i don't know if any of them was particularly bad but cgi was impressive as pretty good as usual and not yeah um apex your quick thoughts on uh, i guess the movie so far I really enjoyed it. I thought the movie I thought the movie satiated the hunger that I've been like that I've been like waiting to to just how would I put this? So for all this time that all this build up has been happening, you want such a big battle. And yes, I agree with you that like the first movie really did have that big battle scene. Um but I feel like this big battle scene was done in a way that, as Sly said, was absolutely for, like, every single person that has watched all these movies. Yeah, There's I think There's just the... shot after shot after shot after shot of, like, characters 
that you're either not expecting or characters that you know should be there but then they're standing next to other people that like just empower the moment and then it's just it just lifts you up and then like throws everything into one climactic moment and it just it feels really good so i i I like that big battle i thought the big battle was fine i mean not fine i really enjoyed it i thought it was very good i mean like yeah you're right infinity war didn't have that and i guess that's what you're kind of expecting at the at the big clap of the of the I guess first first arc or all at the end of all the phases and whatnot you expect that big battle which Infinity Door really didn't have, um, yeah they really uh, they really did that they concluded like all the stories and whatnot and they left the right uh, stones unturned you know for some characters to return back to the series and whatnot which will which they have movies planned out and they have mm-hmm. television shows planned out as well, yeah. But, uh, yeah, do we have any, um, unspoilery things to talk about, really? I mean, like... The movie started with a bang. The movie... Yes, it did. Yes, the pacing the movie was just... started with an explosive beginning, and I think they really... They could have played off that a lot more, because it really left the audience kind of shocked at how abrupt of a start it was. And then from there, it just kind of... It, it died out. And you had to wait another hour and a half to two hours before the action picked up, and then it was like, oh, shit, we're still going. Yeah, but... I never thought I'd be bored in an Avengers movie. I mean, like, some solo movies have been have made me bored, but I never thought I'd be bored in an Avengers movie with, like, a bunch of characters that I, I like. And Personally, I wouldn't say I was bored. I just felt like certain arcs, or what's the word I should say? Certain little storylines side stories you know they could have been presented a little bit better obviously it comes down to pacing yeah yeah Yeah. it just comes down to pacing i honestly like i'm gonna be the one that actually like advocates for it because i really enjoyed the the time that was spent showing like what has happened to everyone since you know like the last movie I really enjoyed that, and there was a few scenes, I guess, that were a little bit longer, but I'm definitely someone who enjoys, like, looking at some of the backstory and, like, looking at how the world has changed since this, honestly, like, cataclysmic event has happened. This disaster Uh, among the universe, but yeah, like, I, I, I do, I agree with what you're saying, like, I'm really glad, like, before, like, they all... I don't think the spoiler before they all like get back together and assemble for one part of the film, like when they're showing like, Oh, here's them years later. I did like when they showed the like world has changed, they have changed, their lives have been changed and everything like that. I enjoyed that too. And they did it well, in my opinion. Yes, I agree. They did that very well. So I think, I think they did a really good job with that. Um, and like I said, I definitely understand there are some scenes that went on a little too long. Um, and there were some references that I know were absolutely thrown into the movie just because it was like, here's like a social media, like, nod or like, right. um, specifically looking towards like the a younger audience and just, it just, there's sometimes like in movies, like, so here's, here's the difference. I'm not going to specifically say what it is because again, that would be spoilery. It's not huge, but let's put it this way. When you see a character, like, drinking a Coca-Cola, that is, like, product placement. That's in every movie. There's going to be product placement in every movie because, big surprise, like, they get money from those companies. But when it's blatantly in front of you, like, oh, man, this is here. Oh, my goodness. How did this get here? This is happening because this is here. Do you... Just the way that it was brought up just uh, feels... It feels like it was done so cringy. It was where they shoehorn it in. Are you talking about the Fortnite thing? Yes. Yes, that yep. it, it reminded me of the Amazing Spider-Man Part Two with uh, Andrew Garfield and uh, Jamie Fox with we all the Sony product that. placement. I hated that film. Yeah, with all the Sony pro- product placement, couldn't stand it. I hated it. Oh boy, but that's Three. not this review. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's 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 a whole another that that's not even worthy. Yeah, I, I didn't want to say anything about it, but since Johnny brought it up, like it's very different if you know, like I said, someone's drinking a soda or eating something that has like a logo of like a restaurant on it, 
but it's different right. when it's like, hey, I'm playing Fortnite. Fortnite. Or like Fortnite, Black Fortnite. Panther, where like the cars they're driving, it's an Audi. You know, that's like you know, it's casual. You're like, that's okay, fine you know, because there's cars. there's things happening while the product placement is going on. That's, but the whole scene that's is, the point. yeah, yeah. The, that's the point of product placement. Is it's supposed to happen behind what is like going on in the story, and like it's supposed to. It's kind of shitty, but. It's supposed to like give you a subliminal thing where like you'll be like, huh, maybe I'll have a coke later. You know, it's weird, yeah. but that's how it works. Yeah, weird with that. Um, I just felt like not playing Fortnite for since then. Ever? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you associate What's Fortnite with no, Thor. No, no, Who no, likes no, no. Thor? No one likes <laughs> Thor. You know, you like associate Fortnite hey, with hey, Thor. Whoa, whoa! Spoiler territory. Thor though. Well, I'll bleep oh. it. I'll censor it. We're just beep Thor. You know. That, that beep, beep Thor. Thor. Yeah. That, that beep <laughs> Thor. Yeah. <laughs> can we talk about this? Then we can get into spoilers now. Spoilers. Spoilers territory. So, yeah, yeah. For those of you watching, uh, turn back now if you're afraid of spoilers. Uh, which, Actually, uh, go to this time in the video. I will have it on the screen and we will kind of get into final thoughts about it. Maybe give a, like a score finish on it or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Go to there and that will be your next safe point if you have not seen the movie and if you don't want to be spoiled for the film. Yeah. So, three, two, one. All right. You have now entered spoiler lead territory for Avengers. Everybody comes back. Ah, oh, shit. Who would have guessed except for oh Vision? My God. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, yeah. PSA. Uh, so, what I was talking about earlier, the really explosive beginning. Hulk First dab. off, they kind of ruined something that could have been developed a little bit longer as like a side story. The movie? Tony and Nebula stuck in space. <laughs> the movie. Pissed me the fuck off. Yeah, also, I, I forgot about that. Yeah. That really made me mad. That like yeah, big storyline. Yeah, I love. I I I, I yeah. forgot about. All right, I'm gonna cut you off real quick, slide because I in in then I was like praising Apex. Like you know what? I agree. How they how they showed what happens afterwards. That was actually done really shitty. That, <laughs> that was, was done awfully. Yeah, especially because that was the done. relationship that they have together. You know, Nebula and Tony. That's actually pretty significant. At the end of the film, you see that she's replaced a part of her arm with his armor. Yeah. Like, they, they, she developed a relationship with him because, for one, she actually fucking won for f the first time in her life, legitimately. That and is true. She has been, she's been losing. She's been a, quite she, a bit of a loser. She fat L's left and right, even from yeah. her sister when she's not even trying. Yeah, and her dad beats but her because of it. Immediately, you know, Sad. Captain Marvel comes and rescues them, and it's like, okay, this was you know, a little too, a little too resolved quickly. All right, Incel, so calm down. Thing, they hunt down Thanos, and Thor goes for the head. Are we doing a walkthrough of the movie, or are we reviewing the movie? No, no, no. We're gonna review it. We're gonna review it. But like, like that the explosive part when they kill Thanos, th that's really what set everything into motion because they thought they could resolve everything, and then they find out you know stones are destroyed, yada yada. But, I I like the uh, you know the the that bit of character development that they decided to start with for Thor, then they just take it into joke territory. That was pretty cool. With uh, like with that. his aggression and his building rage and him, because uh, this is his first time he's actually failed. Him cap like yeah. yeah, I mean like he hasn't had such responsibility. You know, after he gets responsibility from his father, he has done nothing but fail his fail his father, fail his brother, fail Asgard. You know, and then fail half the population of the universe. And just and what is the only thing he can do is just uh is to fill that gap with rage and try to try to fix it with rage, which he can't do, which just leads to more That's anger. Why he plays Fortnite. Yes, that's, why, that's he why he plays Fortnite. That's, yeah, yeah, and it just turns into a big joke. And I could, there's a big difference between like depression and going what through going what he's supposed to be going through, and then then turning it into a joke where he just drinks and gets fat. I mean, I think I like, there's a big difference. I, I like how he, they developed his character. I just think the other characters went about it the wrong way. The only character that should have been you know like ripping him, you know, is Rocket because Rocket shits on everybody. I, like Don Cheadle and his comment about, you know, cheese whiz running through his veins, that was unnecessary. Shit like that, that was kind of stupid. It's like, you know, it, it goes against their character. They should have been sympathetic to Thor, like, you packed on a few pounds, bro. Like, you, you good? I don't know if they should be sympathetic, but I don't see, a, like, a reason to mock him, you know? I mean, like, it's not like he, yeah. he, di like, he got diabetes and he lost a foot or something like that. I mean, like, I think that... That if they're gonna pay attention, they paid attention to it because they wanted to get like cheap laughs and stuff like that. I'm saying like, he yeah. 
if they wanted to show how depressed and fucked up his life was now, they could have showed him, like, shutting everybody out, but instead he's hanging out with the likes of, like, uh, Mink and Korg, is that his name? Yeah. Mink um, and Korg, yeah. Yeah, just hanging out with those guys, and it's like, really, like, this is what you're doing. You're surrounding yourself with people who, are, like, have no responsibilities and who are kind of a little bit, like, under the IQ level to where they can not, like... You know, he, it feels like he's hiding. He's ashamed of himself, so he's oh, hanging yeah, out with people so under him. Yeah, yeah he's the hanging out with people under him. The kid over the microphone, I was like, that, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Noob Master 69, yeah. Didn't have to say it. That was all right. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. It's all right. Um, we're, gonna get, we're all going to get a new subscriber tomorrow, gentlemen. Oh, fucking A. Jesus Christ. God damn it. So what what else happened? Well, the film, yeah. Um, so they end up bringing everybody back back towards the end of the film, which is great. Which everyone expected it because they released fucking Spider Man and they had trailers out for fucking Spider Man after, you know. I mean, like they announced it and there's pictures of Mysterio and everything like that. So it's like, well, Spider Man's coming back. That's for damn sure. And then who's but, the real hero of this, by the way? The rat. Don't, don't, don't make this into a meme thing. Don't make it into a no, meme no, no, thing. No, I mean that legitimately. Like, you, you legitimately think... mean the rat. You think the rat is legitimately going to get an origin story after this? I'm I'm not talking about that, you dip tard. No, I'm saying, like, do you think the rat actually had a significant role in turning on... No, it's a plot game? device. It's a plot device. That's what I'm saying. I want yeah. to go into detail about that because you're mad at the film. I don't know why you didn't pick at that. Because the no the I absolute mean, accident. The okay. uh, because I forgot about it. All right, that's why okay. Okay. <laughs> I forgot no, about it. That's a, the, the a big plot device. Accidental moment. Where, All like, Paul Rudd is is a plot device world. and like a plot like uh he, all he is All there Paul Rudd is explain the plot. The plot. Yeah, no, not himself. He's uh he he kind of explains what's what's the term for it. God God damn it. He uh Quantum he's device. no he's there to explain the plot and. Uh, it's an E word I'm looking for. God damn it. Uh, ex no, he, well, pretty much he elaborates what's going on to you. He's there to tell the, the Avengers, AKA the audience, what we're going to do and what's happening. And he simplifies it. Oh, just being English for me there, pal. We go back in time. Like, that's his job. Like, he's supposed to do that. They treat the audience, you know, like they're stupid, like, because he can't catch on or you can't keep up with it. He's, like, a, a device to explain to the audience. But in the movie, they write it as he's explaining to um, the viewers, which I don't understand how the fuck he would know that going back in time, you know, using the quantum realm. I don't really understand that, but uh, yeah, his nor... understanding of the like qu quantum realm from like Ant Man and the Wasp, it just seems too rushed. Yeah, I mean, like it's well, of course yeah, it they rushed... rushed because they didn't go through the quantum realm in depth. Like honestly, they they really should yeah. have. There should have been like a bigger thing with the quantum realm, other than it can heal like some person who's like bodies being torn between realms or whatever that has nothing to do with time travel like nothing yeah. from that movie i know we're not talking about that movie but if we're gonna be, if yeah if we're gonna be starting in the quantum realm then the first time we speak about the quantum realm better have something to do with time travel like it has to have something to do with it and especially like the shit about like having healing powers or some shit like that from that movie it's like it, it's it just completely changed like the what the quantum realm does is completely different than what it did in this movie like they seem like completely different places but they're the same place because they wrote yep. themselves into a corner or they didn't really care about writing themselves in the corner they said well we can just write it in it doesn't fucking you matter know, you know why you know why it's so easy because time travel is easy because it has no fucking rules because it doesn't fucking exist because they can make any rule they fucking want to any movie like, can fuck. I just lit Johnny's fuse. They can, they can, they can do anything they fucking want. It's, it's so annoying because it's not a fucking. It's not gonna be a movie you can take serious. It's not a movie that you can argue about because it doesn't fucking exist. There is no time travel. 
because it's like a conspiracy it's, theory. You can't refute it because people will just say, well, the evidence was destroyed. That's but, why. Because there was no evidence because it doesn't exist. It's just a figment of your fucking imagination. It's a thing that is made up and anyone can twist and turn it into their own idea. But then they show it on screen and they people ask questions about what's going what what's going on with it behind the screen. People just fill in the fucking gaps, you know, because other people have done it before and they write it themselves. They write the rules themselves for that universe or that film or that franchise. And but it doesn't apply to every single one because they can twist it and turn it according to that fucking script. And in game, they're like, you know what? You know, we could take anything from that. We could fuck. We can go fuck uh, the girl. You know, I was gonna dance with her. I can go fuck her, and I won't fuck up the future. But like in Futurama, Fry can go fuck his grandma, and he's his own grandpa now. You know, that's the thing. Like two different fucking things going on there. Two different rules, but the same concept of fucking time travel, but different fucking rules. It's ridiculous. Because it's their universe, quote unquote. Yeah. Yeah. They, it's just like that's how time travel actually works. You know. No, it's, yep. it's no, no. According that's to who? <laughs> to fucking Russos? Did they write time travel? Yeah, that's how your time travel works. Yeah, yeah. yeah according, accordingly, like, wouldn't that be fucking easy? Like, oh, we just go jack those stones. Well, that's gonna fuck this up. No, we we'll, won't. We'll, no, we'll, we'll just return it later. Okay. Can we talk about that? Can we talk about that though? You want to talk about that? Talk about the ending? Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I need to calm down. I need to calm down. Take five. I'm take five. <laughs> can take can five. we agree right. though? Like appreciation Take off for the jacket. scene between the ancient one and the Hulk. No. Was that a good scene? Which um, scene again? I'm sorry. The yeah. scene where the ancient one, you know, or the Hulk banner, you know, confronts the ancient one for the time stone and they have a discussion. Tilda. Okay. Yeah. Was that a good scene? I liked that scene. I, I liked, liked it. that one. I thought that scene was good because the entire time everything like all the rules so to speak were in play like you're yes. not getting the stone no matter what but then the moment he's like well then why did he give it to us like that that one thing was the breaker because the only way that he would have given it is if he was supposed to be here getting it from her in the first place well do you do you know why she was written into the script do you know why she was there? Because she is she is, she is the only one who knows the rules besides Paul Rudd, and she's this plot exposition. She is there to literally throw out a diagram in front of the audience to show them that it totally makes sense because she made it make sense. That's why she that's why she's there, because she made it she made sense for everybody. You know, she drew yeah, lines but, uh, jo jo and Johnny, she connected hold, hold, hold them. On, hold on, hold no, on, Johnny, sit, sit down. It's okay. Sit down. I'm calm. 100%. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Plot it's exposition okay. lady. It's all right. It's all right. It's breathe, okay. Breathe, breathe. But I, I didn't want to be here. I didn't want to be here. Scene, that scene I thought was done really well. And I agree that she is there for that purpose. But the way that it was done, I feel, was tasteful. Because, yes. like, she's, like, tossing him around and literally just, like, separates his body from, like, his soul or whatever the fuck that is. And... Yep pretty much like i said the rules do apply i think that's another thing in general is when you bend the rules to, especially when it comes to something like this when it comes to like time travel or when it comes to people that have like their own convictions or their own rules that they will not break no matter what they have to have some kind of like crazy circumstance or have it to where something's again, got to be on the line there has to be yes, consequences yeah. Yes. Which which another thing is like she was written well too because she everyone's questioning why did Doctor Strange give up the time stone? No, she's it's it's written, it kinda lays it down and, and the seeds buried for a while because later on in the film you find out Doctor Strange was right, he was right to give up that time stone because he sacrificed himself so they could win at a later date, what five, six, seven years down the road kind of thing like that. So because he knew what he knew what the plan was, you know? And he, like when she says well if dr strange like did that then he did it for a reason so i trust you you know it kind of lays that seed or it kind of waters that exactly. seed was planted exactly. there in infinity yes. war yes. but yes i think that scene was done very well good good scene next scene i agree now okay hold on uh the next thing i want to talk about because you just talked about it because you just said between like the five six seven years that all of this had happened so I want to get into a big section because I, I don't want to I mean like the the stuff at the end of the movie is just a big battle scene and yes people come back there's awesome shots uh, 
there's some weird shit that goes on, which you have mentioned earlier, Johnny, about, you know, like, the fact that everyone has suits and they're, like, important, but then Thanos' entire army shows up without suits. Yes, it's fucking stupid, uh, and I agree with that. <laughs> but I want to say specifically, uh, I want to talk specifically about the fact that five or so years has gone by, because when... When the snap or second unsnap, so how would I say that? Uh, how that happens, um, the way that it was done, I feel while it's like epic because everyone comes to this one point in time and now we have an, a, a giant army to fight their giant army, it's just so, it's so painful. And the reason why is because everything has moved forward except for half of everything has not moved yeah. forward <laughs> and it's, what i mean by that to think about what i what i mean by that is what happened to all those people that were in like families or all those people that were doing something and now they're just all of a sudden back all their friends all their family <laughs> everything has gone on without them so like you could literally be someone who is like in school and now all of your friends have already graduated. They're moving on without you. And, you know, obviously they do have a scene specifically with like Spider-Man and his friend in the movie where it's like, Hey man, we're back at school. Holy shit. We're alive. Like it's supposed to be a happy moment, but like, yeah, that's just a coincidence that those two people happen to be back. But does that mean that every other person that like is in the spider-man movie that's everyone going to be coming to be out there. all of them that needed to be part of this movie also died yeah it, ju it just makes so many points like well yeah this is weird you know this this is just strange this is weird you know like it's 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 it, that means that so many convenient people mm -hmm. died when it's supposed They're to gonna be make 50 it 50. Yeah. yeah it's just because as you as you said johnny because they can write it however they want because time it's... travel convenient there's so that. many yeah, convenient, convenient things exactly. like this yep. so so on the other hand like i was saying with like a family like let's say you had a family you're older and you have a wife and kids oh and whoops the really wife's matter. dead you know yeah, i better remarry disappears it i want to divorce her anyways <laughs> it could be you that disappears or it could be like your wife and kids that disappear but then like you've gone through this trauma you've gone through this pain but after going through years of therapy you're finally able to move on and meet someone else who also lost their family and then five years later your wife reappears and now you're just sitting here with a sweat because it's like you've yep. spent this entire time like conquering this like this part of you that like was ripped away and now this part of you is back and like now you just have like what now you got two families like two wow how about the all the fuck? people that like carved those stupid tablets with all the the dusted the vanished now that yeah what are they nothing. gonna do they're gonna throw those away like what the heck that was a waste yeah that was a big waste of time maybe they should have thought about that maybe they should have asked avengers like hey before yeah, we carve one fucking... hey before we carve like 80 bajillion names into a tablet is there a way we can go back in time and save everybody that's a joke of course but yeah. i mean yeah there's just so many things that you can think about that i hope to god they talk about they better they, need to they better it. mention yeah, it Yes, they need to address Specifically this Specifically far from home, because, I mean, that's, that's obviously... That, I will be yeah. absolutely fucking furious, and will have problems with the MCU for, like, forever if they don't from mention it, and they... Yeah, think, yeah I will mention yeah. it in every single goddamn movie in 10 years, and if I'm still doing this shit, I will mention it in Black Panther 94. That's not gonna happen. Like, that's... Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I will mention it. I'm like, well, he's actually, like, five years younger, but they... Yeah. You just... Yeah, that's the that's the problem, and I think that was the issue when it Ooh. came to the whole idea of bringing everyone back, like at this particular point in time. And it really sucks because all of this, and, and I'm gonna be completely honest, and I'm gonna be unfiltered. All of this was also Tony could have a fucking daughter. That's all it was for. Yeah, and to yeah. to make you cry, you know, not only did Tony die. Tony's daughter lost him. There's more connections and there's more crying. That's why this has moved. to have the same exact life as he is. 
I shouldn't have but to. But that's that's the well, she, yeah, she has a choice. But the same yeah, she doesn't get abducted by but, Iraqis. The the big thing is just like all of this shit happened just because they had to bring her into the story. And like it's yeah. really it really like it really hurts when you think about it because yeah, it's cool that they they allowed him to be happy and he was happy for those 5 years. But the thing is is I'm sorry Tony, things should have gone back. You had your 5 years to be happy, but literally this is not just this planet. This is every planet is now absolutely fucked forever. They did mm -hmm. the same thing with Steve. They gave him his happy ending when he went to return the stones. Yeah. Can I can I talk about when they when they went to go back in time when they all like the time heist the time heist and soon when when yes can I talk about the time can I talk about time heist I've been dying to talk about the time heist <laughs> yeah. so time heist. so so they're like they they lay it all on the board they're like all right this stone this stone this stone this stone we got this team this team this team this team all right so we're gonna talk about this stuff yo alrighty uh, power stone um fucking Dwee Bass uh, Star Lord's grabbing it right now um, I'm gonna send Rhodes fucking Rhodes. I'm gonna send you, Captain Rhodes, to space, who has been to space once, and Nebula, you know, and can, you know, who has insight on this, on this stone, you know? Fucking Nebula. You know why? Because she, she reveals later in the story, she says, oh yeah, my father, who killed half of fucking everything, knows about the stone, is hunting for the stone, you know? That's, that's maybe, that's a thing to where... I feel like maybe you should go back 10 years prior before that instead of like an hour before Thanos gets the fucking and stone. She doesn't think it she doesn't, yeah, she doesn't say Clinton it until about it's the soul stone. She doesn't yeah, and then, yeah, she knew. The bitch knew that Gamora was fucking killed. She sent them in to the fucking realm knowing that one of them was going to come back. She fucking knew it or at least it was implied to her. Astro, I'm sorry, bud. I'm very uh, all right. <laughs> So she she knew this shit. Did you get a counter on how many times you lose your fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking knew it. Raged, she fucking knew it. Movie. She's like, she, she think it's funny. And she's like, she, when he when when he comes back, was she like, hey Hawkeye, where, where's where's Nat, where's Natalia? Where's she 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 late or something? Where, where'd she go? You know, you where's Black you Widow? Them. Yeah, did she she make she. She hit the wrong stop or something? Yeah, she fucking sent them in. This bitch, Nebula, knew what the fuck was going on. She had to know that some cybernetic shit was going on in her fucking brain. You know, she's a goddamn robot. How about we're, you know, would they... This I, conspiracy I, theory shit is just, you're flying I'm, off. That was, I, that I was can't. Really I didn't want to... That was fucking amazing. So, I loved every second of it. The Soul Stone, you know, the red shit, you know, with, uh, with, with the with the Nazi not, there? You're not gonna be able to put that back. I'm sorry, I don't care what anyone says. You, you, people said, oh, he went back and he, he put it there. First of all, how did he get there? They sent him back in time. Yeah, the how motherfucker the can't fly! He, what is, what yeah, is he, he gonna he do? He jump to another Just... fucking planet? How, how does yeah. Captain America See, jump to another planet? And plus, it, wouldn't it be just as dangerous for him to go back in time? Because who's on the lookout? Fucking Thanos, you know, looking out for... <laughs> looking for stones and shit, you know? Other people, I'm sure, you know, like bad guys, bandits, fucking ravengers, uh, people looking for big-ass stones to rule the goddamn universe, but Ronin? no one with powers is allowed to go back. It has to be him. Yeah, they gotta send- to be America's ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. That was a signal ended. Is that ended? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the safe word. But... <sighs> for- for- take five. There. Uh... Uh, okay, but yes, there are a lot of problems with the movie. I think that is a perfect point for us to like leave it But this should be the time when people are coming back so that we can give the the movie a score Yes, uh now that I've talked about it. I would give it a I'm giving this one a six out of ten Sly I'm gonna go with an eight out of ten I would say the same. I would give it an 8 out of 10. There are a lot of flaws, but the fan service is absolutely there. And I think the more that I watch the movie, that's going to be something that sucks, is that normally with Marvel movies, the more I watch them, the more I notice, and the more like I really like appreciate the movies, this is going to be the opposite. I think the first time I see this movie is going to be the, the moment that I love it the most. And then as I see more... I'm just gonna be like, well, that person is, their life is completely fucked. This person's life is completely fucked. These questions will never be answered. 
Anyways, eight out of ten. All right. So, what's the like, official? What's the official Foundry score? What is the Foundry giving this film? I think the Foundry should give it a, a solid middle ground. I think it should seven be point like five. Seven point five. Yep. Seven point five. Solid. Okay. All right. Well, it's an average movie. The Foundry. No, nah, that's above average. Five is average. Yeah, I would say it's definitely above average. Yes. No. Yeah. So the I'm unless you, are you changing your score? You going lower? No, I'm referring to just mathematically seven point five. Yeah. Um. Well. Yeah, um, this movie. You should see this movie if you're a fan of Marvel movies. Absolutely. You should see this movie if you have followed along with the MCU. It is worth watching. Just take everything with a grain of salt, because as everything should be taken with a grain of salt with time travel, this is just how things are, because they can do whatever they want with it. Fact. Alrighty, well, the founder's given this a 7.5. If you guys enjoyed that video, please make sure to smack that fucking like button. Comment down below for some for some some good discussion so we can talk about time travel and the rules of time travel. You know, if you guys could have your own rules of time travel, please let me do, know down below in the comment section. Make sure to check out all of our own respective channels. And, you know, don't forget to hit that subscribe button here on the Foundry. And if you guys want to support us, you guys can most definitely do, do that by heading to the Foundry Patreon. Link is down below. The link will be after this uh, little screen as well. We'd really appreciate some of that extra support. There are some rewards. Um, as soon as we get some patrons up, you'll be able to see your name at the end of the videos. You know, we'll have a special thanks to some exclusive members club, exclusive slugs, some uh, posh sluggies and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you later on the next uh, review.